Hello guys, I hope you are all doing well. In this video, I will show you how to solve the problem lead code at binary. So let's get started. The problem is that they give us a two binary strings and they ask us to return their sum as a binary string. So as we know, decimal numbers are from zero to nine and four binary numbers are numbers that are presented only by zeros and one. So in simple terms, a decimal number has base 10 number and the binary number has a base two. So in decimal to binary conversion, the base of the number also change from base 10 to base 2. So before we start converting decimal numbers to binary numbers, let's start by understanding how decimal numbers are represented and how they work. So let's take this number. So the decimal number are represented in columns and each columns represent a power of 10. For example, in this number, the three represent three ones or three multiplied by 10 to the power of zero. The number two represent two tens or two multiplied by 10 to the power of one. The next number one represent 100 or we can say 1 is multiplied by 10 to the power of 2. So the number, last number, the number 2 represents 2000. Or we can say that 2 is multiplied by 10 to the power of 3. So all decimal numbers are base 10 numbers. On the other side, the binary numbers are base 2 numbers. So let's use this binary number and try to convert it to a decimal number. So binary numbers are also represented in columns. Each column represents a power of 2. For example, the first column represents 2 to the power of 0 multiplied by the value of the first column and we add it to the next number 0 multiplied by 2 to the power of 1 which represent the second column then we add it to the next number 1 multiplied by 2 to the power of 2 which represent the third column finally we add it to the last number 1 multiplied by 2 to the power of 3 which represent the last column in the binary number so after adding everything together we get 13 as a decimal number in base 10 so now that we have a basic and understanding of decimal and binary numbers let's take a look how we can add two binary numbers together so binary addition is an operation of summing numbers and binary form so it's work like a normal decimal addition the difference is that the number are presented only in zeros and ones as digits so let's take some test case so that you can see how it's work so a represent the first binary number and b represent the second binary number so if a and b are both equal to zero the sum will be zero and the carry will be zero if a is equal to 0 and b is equal to 1, the sum will be 1 and also the carry will be 0. And the same if we have the opposite. But if we have both a and b are equal to 1, the sum here will be 0 and the carry will be 1, which will result a carry that will move to the next column or number. So let's take an example. Let's say we have those two input strings a equal to 1101 and b equal to 1001. So we start by looping throughout the two string in reversed order. We take the first binary number from a and from b, we sum up them. So the result will be 0, but we will have a carry number to add to the next operation. Then we move the second number we have 0 plus 0 plus the carry 1 so the result will be 1 and the carry will be 0. Next we move to the next number we have 1 plus 0 plus the carry 0 so the sum will be 1 and the carry will be 0. Then we move to the next numbers so here we have 1 plus 1 plus the carry 0 so the results are 1 and the carry are also are 0. And finally we will have a result equal to 0 1 0 1 1 0. So the time complexity for the solution is obvious because we are looping over the string that have more characters or we can say the time complexity is often where n is the maximum length of the two input strings and the space complexity is often since we are creating an array that are related to the two input strings that's it guys so let's jump at coding the solution so the first thing we need to do is to initialize a variable result and set his value to be an empty array then we initialize a variable called carry that's gonna hold the carry of the addition after that we initialize two variables and set their value to be the last index of the two strings so that we can loop in reverse order throughout the string. Then we loop over the two strings in reverse order while well, i is bigger or equal to zero or g is bigger or equal to zero or if we have a carry left. So we start by initializing a variable called total and set his value at first equal to the carry. So then we start by checking if i is bigger or equal to zero. We add the current number at index i to the total and we use the nth function to convert the string to an integer and we decrement the index i by one. 
one. The same thing for g, if g is bigger than or equal to zero, we add the current value to the total by using the int function in Python so that we can convert the string to an integer and we decrement the g index by one. After that, we take the modulo two of the total and we add it to the array result as a string. Then we update the curry to be equal to the total divided by two so it can return a whole number. Finally, we convert the reversed result array to the string using the join method in python which takes all the elements and group them into one single string and we return the result that's it guys thanks for watching see you in the next video